Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, today we're going to work on the beach and how to do a sand to water to sky um, transition. So we did the sky and the clouds yesterday. I'm going to change up our palette today. And we're going to be working with the following pencils. Nice beachy scene. Okay, you're going to need Sienna Brown, Cool Gray uh, 2, 20%, Light Cerulean Blue, Ginger Root, Blue Lake, Indigo, Sand, Sky Blue Light. Uh, I have no idea what this pencil is, but the color is nice. So we're going to go with PC903. I really should look that up. White, Eggshell. Cool gray, this is another 20. I don't need two 20s. Cream and another white pencil. You're going to need Pasca. So I'm going to start the sand. You're going to want a gradient that goes from browns and, uh, let's say, browns and sand color to lighter as it gets towards the water. So we're going to start off with ginger root. And I'm going to get a layer going of the ginger root. I love ginger root for ground cover. You can do forest, you can do beach. This is the go-to pencil when it comes to that. And I'm just putting in Scribbles. Nothing too detailed or... You know how I tell you not to scribble? Well, right now it's okay because you, you really don't need a smooth surface on sand. Very relaxed and nonchalant. So while I'm working on it, I'll probably start to babble. You guys want to know what Barbie did? Barbie from Barbie's Playhouse sends me DMs yesterday. Declaring I am the queen of Christmas videos. Because she can't get her editing program to work properly. Now, mind you, in her day, she did edit a pretty good video. I will admit, I will give her that. So she declares me queen of the colored pencil, uh, the golden pencil. And then about five minutes later, she sends me another <laughs> DM calling me probably a bitch. And tells me, game on, she figured out how to use her editing program. Crazy woman. So, she took back her golden pencil. And then promised to challenge me to other contests. <laughs> so, we're still on. Crazy lady. Gotta love her. And the funny thing is... She's in my Christmas video. So she's competing against herself. Okay, so now I've got lots of these things all over the place. It's a nice base. Okay. 
and it went really quick. Now I'm going to get out another hue and I'm going to use sand and I'm going to continue to work it. Sand's a little bit brighter. Still working on just getting that base done. This will bring in lots of highlights. I'll do another beach view, like a real beachy beach sometime in 2019 where we can get into rendering sand and reflection all coming. nineteen is going to be a good year for art. Okay, I'm going to get some more colors going in there. Get something a little bit darker. I won't pull out anything darker. Okay, let's get a little eggshell going in there. So this goes by fast and it's definitely something everybody can do. So Hanukkah is over. I'm so glad. I am getting so sick of the food. That's all my family had me cooking all week. And when they get something they like, it's like they want more. Make it again. So now it's Christmas time. I need a different color. Okay, I'm going to add in now the Sienna Brown. Now, for the bottom, I'm going to go very light. Because this is going to be a shading color later on. But I do want to get some richness in there. I used to live on the beach, and I don't mean like I went to the beach all the time. I actually lived on the beach. Um, I grew up on Long Island, which is surrounded by water. My grand, We lived on a peninsula that jutted out into the Atlantic, not too far off from Jones Beach, but it was the same water that was, that we grew up on. Now the water wasn't in my backyard per se, it was like, you had to walk like three houses to get to the water, but if you were driving down my street, um, you would go directly into the water. So I was a side street going to the water. So I spent a lot of time 
watching the waves. Then if I drove around the corner, my grandparents lived there, and their backyard was the water. Beautiful. A lot of happy memories there. Something about the ocean and sunset that really gets to me. I just love it. The way the water sparkles. I'm going to get some shade going underneath this truck. Um, my sun is coming in from this direction, so my shadows would go in that direction. But I'm making this picture so that it's like closer to high noon, so it's not going to be much of a shadow. But I definitely have to add and take into consideration my shadow colors. I've got my gray out. I'm going to get that a little darker, get out another pencil, let's see. No, right in it. Is. Of course I have two things of pencils on my desk. I got a cool gray 70, which is perfect, and my grays are in the other one. Okay, now underneath the truck would be all shadowed. I love these Scooby-Doo wagons. Okay. Got that into place. Okay. Now I'm going to start going. Now, of course, this isn't done. That's only first layer. But I'm going to start working on where the water is. Now, where I wanted it very smooth on the top for the sky, for the water, I'm going to put a whole bunch of different colors. Because, of course, the ocean changes hues and colors with the tide. So here's my color palette for the water. And I'm going to start with a uh, blue lake.
and I'm going to follow the same way as the sand, putting in the colors. Now, this isn't the greatest picture to do this tutorial on. There's not much to see, but we'll still have the effect there. change over to my 903. I don't know what pencil this is. I was looking for Caribbean blue when I found this pencil that I rubbed the name off of it. But it'll do. Okay, I don't have too much room to do much. Okay, I'm going to change out this color for non-photo. I can find my non-photo right now. I'm going to go with aquamarine because I have non-photo in the sky and I want it to be different. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a green in it, so. Good for oceans. Some white in there. Now this is definitely something a beginner could do. And now some indigo. Okay, now there's not much water there for me to do this. This looks much better when there's um, some water, sky, and then beach without, if I didn't have this truck sitting in front of this, it would have been great. I'm gonna take my Posca. And I'm gonna make very fine dots on the edge where the water meets the sand and then pop. Pop, pop. Very small area where I can demonstrate this. This is definitely on my list for a better demonstration.
Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, Sienna Brown. And I'm going to just darken up over here. Because the, water, the sand would be wet. So it would definitely be darker. Um, and I'm going to mix that with my ginger root. See how easy we got? I know it's tiny. I'm sorry, but we got the sand to the edge of the water to the water to the sky. And let's see. I'm going to add in a couple more dots. Went on top so it doesn't look like it's a line. I'm gonna let that dry a little and then I'm gonna tint it up with some ginger root just to make it a little bit more realistic. And oh, I need some gray in there too. Okay, so the water will be starting to dry as it comes up here. Not too dry. You want to keep your, your coloring light on this so that the different hues don't completely blend with each other. You're not looking for a matte, like, a totally blended look. You're kind of looking for the colors to sit next to each other. Okay. Okay, I'm going to continue doing exactly what I just did over here, but I'm going to keep going. This could take me about, I would say, about an hour, and I'll come back.
Okay, I've taken it to this point, and the last part of the sand. Okay, so I built the colors up, and I broke out my Derwent pencils because I've never tried them, and Brenda was so generous to give them to me, and I couldn't wait to dive into them, and I love them. I absolutely love them. So I did this in the Derwent and some of the bus. And I'm going to do one more thing on the sand that might be hard for you guys to see, but I'm going to stipple in the sand all over it. And what stippling is, is making tiny little dots. And we'll see if we can get it to show. I may have to use the editing program. Yeah, you can see them a little. This is going to give the sand texture. And I'll do it all over the front. And that's where I'm going to end this video because I want to I want to show you how to do the palm leaves. I've started them, but I really want to show you how to do a good palm leaf. And then I want to show you that other leaf. So tomorrow's video is going to be on leaves. And we're going to finish this video up. Thank you for joining me. And I just want to tell you guys, I'm reading every comment. I don't have time right now to respond to everything. But everything you've said to me, all the compliments, the, uh, the questions, it will be answered. Soon you will know what this month was like for me. Um, I have to wait a little while longer before I can tell you guys what's going on. But as I said in the past, it's something good. So uh, I have another week or so. <laughs> I think it's 10 days. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And I hope you're coloring. Take care. Bye-bye.